see all that out there? All the yellow and white and orange? That's just a huge colony of microbes. In time, get out a couple billion years ago. Hydrothermal vents have been on planet Earth since the oceans were formed. It may have been sites like these around which life itself began. We can just, you can see all the stringy little filaments that make up the map. Extremophiles are simply life forms that thrive in the extremes of temperature and pressure and radiation environments that to us are deadly. These microbes go far beyond anything which our imagination could conceive of back when we first started studying where we might find life. So you know when you're little? Well, you just see if you can ease in on this structure. Absolutely. It's just like the mushroom. It's like a mirror. So that's the hot water forming a surface. <laughs> that is very cool. I see it. Small bacterial mats on top. Certain molecules found in living organisms will glow when they're hit with an ultraviolet laser. Is that a good place for a fluorine reading? I think this is a great place for a fluorine. It's so important to study what you can about extreme environments on the Earth before you go out into the solar system and look for life. Much of what I study is how humans interact with the technology that allows them to accomplish their tasks. Some of the technology is very simple, but in space and at the bottom of the ocean, nothing is simple. Gonna go, no! Aye. You can't rotate the scoop more? You can put it in. ...like this and robotics into our human exploration systems, the more effectively we'll be able to explore the solar system. I feel like I'm a... It's not only the hardware in the process, but the communications between the people and the robots. What's that fish? The story of the vents is really the story. Waving fields of bacteria. The vent fluid is a kind of liquid sunshine, powering the whole food chain down here. Some of the animals are eating the bacteria. Some of them are preying on the ones that eat the bacteria. It's kind of ethereal, huh? I would have thought that bacteria could be beautiful. The animals are eating the bacteria, but there's something else going on here too. It's symbiosis, a dance of life between partners of different species. Vent animals like the shrimp and the mussels have formed symbiotic relationships with microbes that can live off of the chemicals in the vent fluid. Oh, we're near some. I study the metabolic and molecular physiology of mussels and crabs that live at these deep sea vents. I'm focusing on their ability to withstand variations, large variations in temperature. The genus, Bathymodiolus, is the scientific name for the mussels that we study got a muscle mound over to the right, Jane, I think this will be a... You think these are mixed sizes, okay. or can you get some small ones? Maybe we'll take some. <laughs> All right.
Keldish, Keldish, Mir 1. We have collected a full batch of mussels in the clam bucket. X minus. Yes, we got crabs. Big time. It's like full. Okay, let's uh, let the meeting. Happy back. Describing, and I think I can get in a little closer to it. Over. Got it. Oh wow! Copy that. We see it. These little shrimp are different. Are these related? Yes. Those Juvenile and adults. The vent shrimp, Rimicaris exoculata, are grazing on the bacteria growing all around them. Look at them. They're eating the bacteria that's growing all over that crab. <laughs> oh, you almost got that guy. I think the, the shrimp are picking them. It's like crab foo here at the bottom of the ocean.